Hello, this is Sound Out here, and welcome to my first Zuden Sentai Kyoryuja review. You'll be surprised to hear that I didn't start watching Kyoryuja till a little while ago, mostly because of high recommendation from my friends. Um, I decided, you know what? Why not? I didn't like Go Busters all that much, and it really turned me off of Super Sentai for a while. But having taken a six-month break and getting back into it with Kyoryuja was great. I really like Kyoryuja. I like dinosaurs, and I like Dinosaur Sentai, which is why I like Your Uger. Also, it's one badass show. So, being not completely caught up on everything, I'm playing catch-up. Not only with the show, but with the toy line. Because, I'm just now getting Deluxe Your Eugen. That being said, most people aren't getting the Deluxe ones and getting the mini plaws or the Gashapon versions, or just waiting for a US release for Power Rangers. But I say, screw it. I like these mecha. I'm going to get the Japanese ones. And here we are. Deluxe Cure Eugen, Which I purchased from Mandarake. Uh, mostly because it was a really good price. I don't want to talk about the price now. I'll talk about it later. But as you can see, the box is huge. And I mean huge because here's a standard size SH figure art. This is a huge box. Now, the funny thing is, is most Sentai Mecha boxes are vertical. This one's horizontal, which throws out some interesting possibilities. And this is mostly because packing it in Cure Eugen mode would make the box much bigger, and so packing it in the dinosaur modes uh, horizontally makes the box smaller, which I'm glad because the shipping was enough as it is. Huge shipping cost on this guy. So, as you can see, you got Kyoru Yujin, uh, which is made up of Gabutira, Stagochi, and Jakara. You also get all three of their Judenchi, um, which is really nice. You can also see there's there's music and sound. On the top, you got a very nice picture of all five Kyoru Yujers, well, the main Kyoru Yujers, uh, not counting Kyoru Gold, Kyoru Sian, Kyoru Grey, Kyoru Violet, Kyoru Violet Female, yada yada, and Gaburin Show plus Kyoru Yujin's head. Um, now if you excuse me here, this is a huge box. On this side here you get advertisements for Zakutor and Parasagan, which make Kyoru Yujin Western. And on this side you got an advertisement for Kyoru Yujin. Um, realizing now that that same advertisement for Parasagan and Zakutor is right here. Um, I do plan on picking them up eventually, just I don't have them yet. So, as you can see, you got three mecha, three dinosaurs make one mecha robot. Um, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go over all this. As you can see here, it can work in the Gabu Revolver, the Gabu Caliber, the Daiso Machine. There's Candy Toy and Gashapon, uh, Judenchi as well. This requires four, no, this requires two AAA batteries. Um, and of course, if you get, uh, Zakator and Parasagon, or the Zakator and Parasagon set, you can make Kordyujin Western. Also, you get some little, uh, facts about Kordyujin there. Um, I assume that's what it is. So, oh, on the bottom, Stagochi, Gabutira, Jakara, and Kyoru Yujin. So, let's not waste too much more time on the box, and let's go to the actual figure. So we begin with Gabutira, Kyoru Red's Red Tyrannosaurus Rex. Really what it is. Now, what's really neat about the Kyoru Yujin mecha is that they don't follow a linear scheme. You think with a five-person team, they'd have a five-component mecha. But for the five-person team, we have a three-component mecha. And it's all based on Gabutira. Namely, you could have a Gabutira without having Stagochi or Jukera and get, say, Zakator and um, Parasagan, and you could still have another combination um, without requiring the use of Stagochi or Jukera. So... That means that the bulk of the figure is in this one dinosaur. And I really mean that, because here's an SH figure art, who's about five inches tall. Five and a half, closer to six, really, but you get the idea. This thing is really big. Now, that being said, it's not the biggest Sentai Mecha ever, but I think it's probably one of the biggest individual components of a main Mecha that at least I own. And I mean, first appearance main mecha thing. Oh, you know, like, 
Shinkano and Go Say Great and all that jazz. So, it does have that. It has a lot of size. Now, taking a look at the actual um, figure, you can tell that there are several accented silver details in addition to the red, which really breaks it up in addition to this what looks like a yellow stripe that runs through the point of the tail. Now, it doesn't really look like it. It looks like a stripe from here, um, with the mouth being yellow to accent that. So the colors really play nice to each other, and going with the whole Samba theme, most Samba stuff is really colorful. So having just, instead of stark red and black, adding that yellow just does a nice job. And it helps to unify all of the Kyoryu Jermeka. He does have green eyes, and overall pretty accurate to the actual show puppet um, and costume that they use. Now, of course, the there's all kinds of clips and pegs um, all over the place, and a lot of screws on the back here. Um, but that's just generally how toys are made, so there's not much you can do about it. But seeing how large this guy is, it's cr incredible. Um, I mean, you take something like... Whoop, fell over, but... Take, take the Gosei Ultimate Megazord, which is about your standard-sized uh, Megazord. A little shorter than your average uh, Sentai Mecha. And you can lay him on his side, and he's shorter than Gabutiro's length. That's what's incredible about Mr. Gabutira. Because he's just really huge. Now, being so big, he does have limited articulation. Uh, you can move his legs. They rotate. Um, but only back, and they click in at certain locations. So getting him to run is a bit difficult. Uh, same works on the other leg. His arms can move, but they start getting disjointed like someone broke them, and that's just sad. And you can open his mouth, where you see there's a slot. Now, being a slot in his mouth, that can mean only one thing. That must be where the Judenshi goes. Now, the Judenshi, also known as Beast Batteries, uh, if you're translating, are really cool. They contain the dinosaur's spirit, um, and that spirit can brave in. And it gets all colorful. So what's really cool about this idea is that the batteries do have to be charged in the show with the dinosaur energy. And if they are somehow disconnected from the, re the regular Earth uh, and the outside world, they will have an issue braving in the spirit of the dinosaur if they're disconnected. So, that I think is a really neat concept. The design's also really cool, as what you have looks like a dinosaur in the shape of a battery. you got spines on the back, and you got jaws and an eye, which is pretty cool. The number one has teeth on it, which is awesome, and you do get the symbol for Kyori Red and Gabutira. You may notice there are buttons, um, little pegs, those do act this is how the act sounds are activated in the toys, um, being Gabutira or otherwise. And it does have a little, uh, it does have a positive and negative end uh, to the battery. On the back, you can see it reads Gabutira. And the little button up here will allow you to brave in. Also, um, if you do this right and with two hands, this side does glow in the dark. The, the quote unquote dead side. We turn it to the live side, and it's like, yeah, all right. So, first off, you want to turn the power on, and he will roar, and you can press the button, he makes more roaring. And that's the only sound effect, but if you can take a look here, um, as we go and open this up, you can see the battery fits right there. And in the show, they usually throw the batteries, and they go this way. So that's the way I'm going to go. So you get the sound effect for the Gabutira battery. Gabricho. Gabutira. And the little spines, if you did not notice, when you click the head down, little fins pop up. Which is really cool. And going on that whole dinosaurs were um, pre-bird things, whatever. I was not really sure what that's all about. So, outside of that, there is not much else to Gabutira, aside from being a really cool red, yellow, black, silver, and a little gray dinosaur. And really, what more could you ask for? 
Next up, we're going to take a look at Stagochi. He is a blue Stegosaurus, belonging to Cure You Blue. Now, Stagochi is significantly smaller than Gabutera. How small, you may ask? There's Gabutera. Yeah, Stagochi and Dracara are not as big. Uh, otherwise, this set would have cost a fortune, more so than it already does. So, taking a look at Stagochi, you can see he's blue with the silver accents and the yellow striping, which is really nice to keep a consistent theme with the silver detail and the yellow stripes. Other than that, he is a small little dino, and he's a pretty good Stegosaurus. Uh, I must say I like him more than the Stegosaurus from Abadai Killer, because this one's a bit smaller. It just looks more like a Stegosaurus, honestly. Um, the other one, I think, was a little big. But you can see he's got the spiked tail piece in addition to the nice spines on the top. And that got really bright the closer I bring it to the camera. Thank you, iOS 7. So, as you can see, his little legs are slightly articulated. They can rotate forward, but that's about it. And there's really not much else to him. Now, there is, of course, the ability for a Judenshi. This is number three, the Stagochi, because it says so on the back. Uh, Beast Battery. You can see you got the Stagochi slash QRU Blue logo, and the number three, the dead side here, and let's brave in. And now you got the alive side. So to input this one, just like with Gabutira, you open his mouth. This one, though, you open his mouth really wide. Now, to do this, you click the battery in here, and then you push this button on the bottom, and you can push it the rest of the way, pulling up this additional spike. Which is pretty cool. But other than that, there's not much to Stagochi. Lastly for the set, we have Dracara, which is a pun on Tricera and Drill make Dracara. Which is really awkward to say in English, I must say. This belongs, of course, to Cure You Pink. And it's the first pink Triceratops in Super Sentai history. Before they were blue. I kid you not, both the G Ranger and Abra Ranger, they were blue. So this is a nice change of pace, I, I must agree. Pink Triceratops is pretty cool. Now, being called Dracara, um, you may notice the two drills for horns. Because they're, well, it's Dracara, not Tricera. So, what's really cool is that you do have the drills here. Um, they do not spin, but there you go. We got the horn, of course. Oh, wait, we have, we have five horns on this Triceratops. I'm calling shenanigans. But I guess those two kind of replace the other two. And you can see it's got that drill tail, which is pretty awesome. Now, being pink, I imagine this is female, but I do not discriminate here. So, we're just going to refer to Dracara as Dracara. Same articulation as Stagochi being in base mold. Legs can only move forward or back. They can't do the opposite direction because that's how the transformation works. And much like Stagochi, we also have a Judenshi, number five. You also got the Cure You Pink logo here. And you can also take a look at the back and say it's Dracara. And Brave In. So you got the pink Triceratops. Now, much like Stagochi, Dracara's mouth opens up really wide. What's really nice is that the horns do have the ability to move to clear the head. And it doesn't look too bad up there either. So let's toss the battery in. And much like with Stagochi, you need to press this button to load it all the way. In which case, you have a spring out tail. Now, something I've noticed that several reviewers haven't covered is that you can actually extend the yellow tail piece a little bit more to give it an extra length to make the drill bigger. So that's really cool. I do like the little gimmicks that are activated when you have the batteries inserted. It gives you a reason to keep the batteries in. So, how do these all go together? So, it is time for a snapping combination. Now, there is a lot of preparation to this, but nothing that they don't show you in the show the first time you see Cure Eugen combined. So, to represent this properly, we'll be taking a look at each step individually, and hopefully that'll make it a bit clearer of what to do exactly. Now, first off, you need to open the mouths of Stagochi and Dracara, 
which may be a little difficult for me. And you need to push these buttons to eject the Judenshi. Um, they do come out this far, and then you need to move them the rest of the way. Um, this is very important, as this happens in the show. So thus, the toy must replicate it. And we can just leave their mouths open. They're not doing much. So, first off, now you got to go work with Gabatira. Remove his beast battery, and input Stagochis. Remove that one, and input Dracaras. And then, put back in Gabutiras. Now it's time for some actual transformation. So let's begin. Now, if you didn't catch all that, let's take it back. So to slow down the transformation, just in case, because it's a little bit complicated and I feel I need to show it. First, you need to remove the yellow tail section of Gabutira. Inside this yellow tail section, which you want to split in half, is the helmet for Kyoryujin. Remove that and place it to the side. This will be also placed to the side for now. Um, if you're not used to pieces coming off and not being used for a while, welcome to Super Sentai. We have parts forming. Now, the next part is the complicated part, which I've actually gotten pretty good at, um, if I do say so myself. You want to take each leg, you want to, the, the trick is to push it down and swing it back. Now, it'll lock into place down here. You want to fold this panel out. You want to do the same for the other side. You want to unclick it, bring it back, click it into place, fold down the panel. Now, splitting the legs in half, pushing these gray tabs to extend the legs out. You want to then pull the legs forward and fold the arms in. And to make this easier on all of us, twist the waist around so that it's facing front. Now, because I don't want to wait to do this, I want to do this now. Um, the thing about Kyori Yujin is he's notorious for having the back clips break on him. So I would highly recommend not trying to race the music and putting this piece on. Two clips on his back into place like that. Now, what about Stagochi and Jokera? For Stagochi, you want to give him back his uh, Judenshi by just leaving it like that, and you want to fold up his legs. This allows for him to become an arm of sorts. Remove this piece, fold this out, and flip the handle around to make a shield. This will be given later. But now you have Stagochi's arm mode. Similar thing happens to Jukera. Um, all you need to do is put the, the uh, Judenshi back in, fold up the legs, and the biggest difference, fold these horns down so that you have another arm. And now we're ready to begin the Samba music. And there we have Kyoryujin. You know, I never thought a red, blue, and pink dinosaur robot would look so uniform. But it does, mostly because of the silver accents and the yellow lines. And really, it just adds to the design. Now, you're probably wondering how those sound effects worked out. Well, if you may recall, you had to input the Stagochi and Drakera Judenshi into Gabutira before forming the combination. This is because there's actually no scanners for Judenshi in these arm sockets. And because of that, 
The only scanner is in Gabutira's head. So, by telling Gabutira you just ate Stagochi and Dracara's batteries and your own, that must mean you're making the cure Yujin combo. So, if you were to say, bring out Zakotor or Parasagan, and in putting those batteries in place to go to Dikara's, it'll tell you that you just made Kyoryujin Western. So because of this, you'll never forget the names of the combinations of this mecha. Because it'll tell you, as long as you do the sound effects right. Now, if you don't do the sound effects right, you only get them to say Kyoryujin and stop instead of playing the little Kyoryujin tune. Now, if at any time you want to hear the Cure Eugen tune again, just press this button. I must comment that I really love how the sound effects inside this toy are almost too much for the speaker, because Cure Eugen sounds like it's straining the speaker. I really like this because... We have Power Rangers toys that are so quiet, you can't even hear them. And on the other side of the world, we have Super Sentai toys that are loud enough to hurt your ears. So, just don't put your ear up near the speaker and you should be okay. Now, I must address an issue that a lot of people have noted with your Eugen, and that is the stability of the clips. Clips are notorious for breaking after a few years. Some people's Kyoryujins already have broken clips in several places. Now, I have had no experience with this. Um, the only thing I have a minor issue is that this clip's a little loose uh, for Jakara, so sometimes I'll shake Kyoryujin by accident on my desk and Jakara will pop out and the sound effects will be all screwed up again. Um, but, that being said, I have not had any issues with any of the clips breaking on this yet. Now, I don't have any of the other Kyoryujin mecha yet, so that may change, but I think as long as I'm careful, I should be okay. And I think this is the same goes for anyone. Now, that being said, this is not a mecha I'm going to transform very often, because the less wear on the clips that's done, the better. Now, we also do have an accessory weapon for this mecha, so let's get to that. Also, I might point out, I really like the teeth around Kyori Yujin's chin. just adds a little extra detail. So, the articulation on this guy is what you'd expect. You have 360 shoulders, except you don't. They only move up, mostly because of all the electronics that are running through this thing. Now, of course, you do get Stagochi, the Stagochi arm's main weapon, which is the shield. Now, the shield, you know, it's just the spine splayed out. Uh, there's not much really to it. If I can bring this down a bit. And it's a shield. It's not too exciting. But, flip it around, fold it up, pretend you have all five Kyori Yujins in, in the cockpit, and you got the Gorin Juden Sword. I really hope that's the name, because I could have screwed that up. So, what's really cool is that they managed to do the Sentai trick of sword and shield in one weapon. And it makes sense, because there's five Kyori Yujin color colors there. And there's five in the cockpit, so... There's the sword. Now, you could cheat the system, and if you have uh, Teruraideno, Zakrator, and Parasagan, and you have them all combined, and you have Kyoryujin over here with the sword, you're going to be breaking the rules of the show. Now, you could also have him hold the shield this way, but I find this to be rotated look a little better. Um, I don't know what's the official way. I really didn't look at the instructions. But, for now, we'll leave it as a sword. So, lastly, on the Cure Eugen feature docket, you can do a, a Juden Brave finish. All you need to do is input any Juden Ryu, or Judenshi into Gabutira's mouth. We're just going to use Gabutira's because it's easiest. Uh, you can use any of the others, but we'll demonstrate those at a later time. So, we'll put this in here. So yeah, any of the Guardian batteries or Jujin Ryu, Jujin Ryu batteries will work in there. Any battery at all I think will work. 
and you'll get a different brave finish sound whenever you put it into your Eugen mode and put the mouth in its battery. Battery in the mouth. I'm sorry I mixed that up. So, what do I think of Cure Eugen as a whole? This guy is awesome. I really do enjoy the design. Uh, it's a simple three-part combination, but, you know, every single Juden Ryu that you get from here on out combines with Cure Eugen. So, it makes every Juden Ryu, every Juden Ryu that you'd buy outside of this set adds to the value of this set. In addition, I do feel like the set is reasonably priced. Retail cost was 7,600 yen. I luckily only had to pay 4,500 through Mandarake, and that's a really good price. But you probably won't find that too often. I would suggest possibly getting a uh, pre-owned version, mostly because the clips probably already have been stress tested, and then you can know if the clips are good. But really, this guy is really cool. The only thing I'm going to warn you about, the shipping cost is kind of insane. Being with how big Gabutira is, and the whole set in general, and how heavy it is, because it is one hefty figure, the shipping cost is going to cost you 5,000 yen or more, unless you get it from a seller in the same country as you. Now, that being said, I'd say it's totally worth it, and I look forward to getting the rest of the Juden Ryu throughout this year and a little bit next year, depending on how long it may take, but I do plan on getting all of them at some point, because I really love these designs. So anyways, Kyoryujin's awesome, Kyoryujin's awesome, and I'd highly recommend it. So be sure to check out Kyorotaka.com for Kyoryujin news and more, and talk to the sound saying, goodbye. <laughs>